Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video, we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. This is Lazy Acres Farm by TNT Modding. It's 179.47 megabytes to download. And the description in the mod hub says, Welcome to Lazy Acres. Nice square fields from medium to large surround the centrally located main farm. Perfect for a relaxing day of farming. Features. Two trains running to all sale points on the map. Additional fruit types. Carrot, onion, sorghum, millet and rye. All the necessary equipment to plant and harvest additional fruits. Small forestry area, seasons ready, preci precision farming ready. And it says there is requ required mods. So you need the Lone Oak Cow Husbandry, Lone Oak Farmhouse, Lone Oak Pig Farm Pack, Lone Oak Cell Points Pack and the Lone Oak Sheep Farm Pack. Now I didn't have any of them installed anyways and when I downloaded this map it automatically installed those for me um, you don't have to use them obviously but if you don't have them obviously a lot of this on your farm won't be there so we start off here I'm on new farmer mode we're at our main farm uh, this is the map so we're here pretty much in the middle of the map you, as you can see there's not many fields uh, 18 I think by the look of it but they're all pretty big um, so your main farm we've got a fuel point we've got sheep chickens cows horses and pigs and we've got a buying silo there we there is also um, the lone oak farm silo which is roughly down here somewhere I think but for some reason it doesn't show on the map um, in new farmer mode we start off with this area for our farm with fields 10 and 11 and we own the outside of the map which basically there's a few trees up here but nothing major basically takes in all the sale points and just down here we've got the BGA which we start off in new phone new farmer mode owning but if we have a look, the BGA, if you're in the other two modes, farm manager and start from scratch, only costs 60. So that is cheap. And the outside of the map is zero. So again, and what is um, quite bizarre is if you come on to here on those other two modes, this area where our main farm is and farm, uh, new farmer, it all comes as one piece, the farmyard area and fields 10 and 11, and it is only 797 to buy. So you're getting quite a massive area for your farm, and these two fields were a nice size anyway, for 797. And it gets even better, because you've got this forestry area just down here. Let's turn that off so you can see it. It's not huge, but it's a little bit of forestry for you. If you wanted to buy that in those two modes, that's only 773. So a bit odd with those prices, but your field prices go back to kind of more reasonable or normal prices, if you want to say that. So field one's 240,000. Field five, which I think is the biggest, is 756 8 is 472 13 is 278 16 744 like that so you've got um quite a varied amount like it says on the description on the mud hub uh, mod I always say mud mod hub you've got two railway lines and um, one runs round the north they both run through this middle section but one runs round this north area here which does pretty much take in all the cell points in the north area 
um, but we'll look at that in a second apart from, I don't think it's going to count for the spinnery but I'll show you that in a sec so it runs all the way down here and then comes back round and across and the southern one comes this way and it goes down it doesn't take in any of these cell points here or this sawmill but it, it does go through the restaurant and then it goes through this cell point and it doesn't go through the BGA but that is accessible by the road and then it comes up and it takes in this cell point there there's no uh, railway silos they're all cell points most of them you can um, access from the road as well well all of them sorry you can access from the road but obviously some are only accessible by the train but we will look at that in a second so we start off here at our main farm let's have a quick look at our equipment the new farmer mode the slot count is brace yourselves 1079 out of 1299 which is quite hefty but when you look at the equipment we've got you'll understand why is some of it overkill possibly I mean we start off with five tractors I think so do we need five tractors and we have two um, pickups but anyway we start off with the case um, 7250 Pro, the Case Maxim CVX145, Case Quad Track, Challenger MT875E, the Case 380 CVX, we've got a Lizard Hulk, we've got a Case 9240 Harvester, Star Emperor, um, Crone a Big M Mower, you've got a new Holland Wheel Loader, a Manitou Telehandler, New Holland Skid Steer Loader, and we've got the Lizard Pickup 2014, Lizard Pickup 1978, Wilson Trailer Pace Setter, your Anna Burger Trailer, you've got the Agriliner TKD 302, you've got your normal standard header for your harvester, you've got corn header, um, we've got a subsoiler, Colty Plough there you've got a cedar an additional tank for your cedar you've got a sit planter um, you've got a fertilizer spreader you've got a manure spreader you've got a slurry transport tanker you've got a slurry spreader you've got a tedder you've got a wind rower which is the merge max as well you've got a um, loading wagon krona logan wagon you've got two balers I don't know one's obviously a bell wrapper the other one isn't you've got the lizard MKS 32 liquid transporter you've got the Wilson Silver Star animal transporter you've got the Bachman big master for your horses transport you've got Levelers for your silage, you've got silage fork, these are for your wheel, that's for your wheel loader, these are for your telehandler, you've got a bucket, bell fork, high dump bucket, that's for your skid steer loader, bell spear, you've got a low loader, trowel lifter, a fuel uh, tank transporter, and then we've got our animal pens, so we've got the standard large chicken coop which holds 400. You've got your standard large horse paddock, holds 16. And then we've got our lone oak animal pens. So we've got the sheep husbandry, holds 500. Pig husbandry, holds 500. And the cow husbandry, holds 500. We've got our lone oak multi-fruit silo, which is 750,000 litre capacity. And that will hold um, pretty much everything, plus the five added in custom crops which I'm going to come back to in a second you got a liquid fertilizer tank you got a herbicide tank you got station free fruit which is uh, the biome silo that's on your farm and that will let you have seeds lime and solid fertilizer 
um, you've got sheds, you've got a workshop, another shed, another shed, a large barn, another shed, another large barn, you've got a manure selling station, lone oak spinnery, straw barn, gas station which is at your farm and you've got the lone oak farmhouse. So a lot of stuff to start with and as you can see that's why the slot counts quite high the farmhouse on itself is 44 slots. I'm just going to quickly whiz back because all your sort of buckets have been adapted so they take all the custom crops as well so you can see there they take all those and your trailers your standard sort of trailers not that because that's obviously a um, forage wagon trailer but your standard trailers like that that will hold all the custom crops as well but what we'll do is if we come over here and zoom over to the far side you can see there we've got them so you've got carrots onions millet sorghum and rye as our added in custom crops so what i'm going to do now is i on the field over there that we own earlier i um grew all five of those crops uh, just to show you what they look like the sort of textures especially the carrots and onions I was interested in so I'll just cut to that now to show you that so first up we've got carrots which look quite cool you can just see the top of the carrots poking through and the carrot tops and it says remove tops like you would get with um potatoes and sugar beets and then we've got the onions which again the same remove tops you just see the top of the onions they look smart as well and then we've got millet which is quite colourful sorghum and then rye at the end which kind of looks a bit like your wheat and barley so there you go that is the custom crops on this map so also there is some modded in things so in the animal pens as you can imagine we've got all our lone oak items you got three different cow husbandries there ones without the manure pit so I think the manure um, appears inside the barn you've got to muck it out yourself you've got one with the manure pit which is what we start off with and then you've got um, a free range one so they're not um, fenced in and again I think the manure appears inside you've got the pig husbandry and then we've got two sheep husbandries one without the fence and one with <coughs> Excuse me. There was in miscellaneous, we have got the gas station, the straw barn, the lone oak, the lone oak spinnery, and the manure selling station. Nothing in decoration. In silos, we have got our multi fruit silo there. The lizard. Um, the liquid fertilizer tank herbicide tank and the buy point there which is only one euro or dollar whatever you're going to be on sheds you can imagine we've got all our sheds you've got your workshop all the red sheds and the large barn and then farmhouse obviously you're going to have low note farmhouse now with the carrots and onions if we go across to it is in the, where are we i'm looking at my notes beat technology if we scroll away to the end we've got a modded in root harvester as you can see down the bottom it will do sugar beet and potatoes but it also will be able to do carrots and onions 
and the header for that is actually in potato technology not beet technology if we scroll to the end each one's a separate one so you've got a modded in one for potato you've got one for that says carrot there but the onion symbol is appearing there oh no I'm on onion sorry I pushed too far right <laughs> so you've got a carrot header there which will obviously do your carrots and then at the end you've got your onion header so they're individuals they're not gonna work on everything they'll only be specific to that crop and then like I said your trailers you can see all the custom crops have been added so you can they will take that I think auger wagons will take them all as well it's been added in um, what else is there oh yeah your cedars and your planters on this map will do everything so as you can see you can see the carrots and onions there but if we go to cedars I think there's one where you can see all of them there you go so you can see all five of them are added in there now so your cedars and planters will do everything so in theory us having two in here do we need two of those because they both do exactly the same thing now and they're both about the same width anyway I think looking down that is all of the worst bits actually I just want to show you this if you do come on here in farm manager or start from scratch because you don't you won't start off with, you don't start off with anything you don't start off with any fields any equipment any land so because you don't have um, some of the things in your garage or nothing in your garage you lose this spinnery here which is part of the lone oak, oak cell point pack you lose the manure pit down here the barn and for some reason agri xjs disappears in the other two modes so i'm not sure why that is but they obviously will be available to buy in the store if you wish to um, place them down after that so that's one thing i just wanted to point out there is contracts available on here as well i think that is all of my notes i'm just going to chuck them out my way because they're annoying me so we start off here at our house we can go inside like so nicely detailed i think this room here is your sleep trigger just like that you can go upstairs it's just like a little lounge area chilling out zone we've got both your pickups do start in there but I've pinched one and I've placed it somewhere on the map just to help me with the tour like that and if we run round we'll have a quick look where our equipment is it's nicely laid out I like this little bridge here that we can run over to get to our equipment and the uh, yard is massive I didn't say actually let me grab my notes I'm getting a bit flustered with it all now on new farmer mode I did say it starts off as 1079 slots if you sell everything you can get that down to 389 so that shows how much equipment you've got if you come on here and farm manage or start from scratch it's 364 slots so that's quite a massive difference and if you come on here on those two modes or if you sell everything here in new farmer mode the farm area yard area will look like this So in here 
we've got a workshop. There's our trigger for repair, customization, etc. And our equipment is just dotted around everywhere, it's crazy. You've got loads of it in here, all nicely parked up, tucked away for us. We run out of here. We've got our liquid fertilizer and herbicide. That's your bi silo for your seeds, um, fertilizer, and lime. This is your pig husbandry. Just at the gates, there is your animal trigger. The feed and water troughs are just there. You've got slurry point there. Your straw triggers through there, and your manure is just there. I've already said all the capacities for the animals, so I won't repeat that. Um, just in this barn here, is it? Where's the door for that? Uh, just there. Uh, there's all your tractors, and we've got our harvester with the headers. Just over the back there, we've got our truck. Chicken pen just there, standard in game one, easy enough for the triggers. Um, where are we going? Let's go this way. You've got, there's your horse trailer there, there's, with your horse pen just there. This is the large barn we start off with. Again, with all our bits and bobs in. You've got your cow husbandry there dialog box just in there your feed trough is just through there and your straw your water points just there then you've got manure pit just there and your slurry pit just there just gonna whiz over to here show you these um, two barns Loads and loads of storage on this. So you got your spreaders just there, your leveler thing there, one of your tankers there, your fertilizing equipment in here by the look of it. Loads happening. There's your sheep husbandry. I won't go through all the um, details there, but there's your dialogue box. You can sort of see where your, your water and your feed trough there. Wall pallets just there. Lone oak lamp. More sheds over here with our equipment in. More equipment just there and it's a bit dark but there's your little fuel point um this is your silo your lone oak silo just like that tip in there we've got like a little ramp just here where you can drive up and on the back of this train you can't quite see it there's a um let's whiz down there as well as these, this is the longest train of the two. You've got like um, flatbed sort of trains and you've got some logging ones up the back just there. So you can use that ramp to um, load up those two trailers. You've got a little carrot symbol there. So I'm guessing those... Um, train sections there are going to take the carrots and possibly onions and these ones are like your cereal crops and then obviously if you've got pallets or anything like that you could do that you have got a silo pipe just there so you could probably I'm guessing load up the trains from your silo and send them off somewhere else to sell but then you've got an unloading point here and here for the other train track which is quite cool. Now we're going to jump in this train. 
I'm going to have a little tour around the north side of the map as you can see it's quite open massive fields absolutely huge with potential to have them extended as well or even join them together look then just coming up in front of us we have got I'm pretty sure it is central grain elevator both the trains work on this one so as you can see that was good timing you can tip into there again huge open spaces there's traffic on the map and then we're just coming up to slow 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 just in the background there you've got the barn you've got sail point here which I'm guessing because of the hazard marks there will take the um, lumber there so you can sell your wood this is the barn I think that's too far away for the train so that's possibly one that can't be accepted from the train but obviously you can access access it by the road so this is barn and the biomass heating plant which is obviously going to be for wood hop back in the train I'll try not to keep jumping out of the train but I do want to show you some bits then just over to the left in the distance there is the um, spinnery And the one that you can see just there, the smaller one, the brown one, sort of has got an L shape to it. We'll see it a bit better in a second. That is the one that you'll lose when the, um, you come on here on Start From Scratch or Farm Manager. But again, I'm not sure if I can slow down. There's the hazard marks for the L shaped one, as you can see and there's the hazard marks for the normal standard one so again I'm not sure if you can access them from the train because they're a little bit set back but the description does say all sail points but I'm not so sure about that so we came up there there's your two spinneries and now we've got grain mill north and as you can see you can get this from the road just there up the ramp and in and then just there we can access it from there from the train it's not all completely flat as you can see you've got hills bumps and lumps everywhere huge sort of industrial area factory going on through there just for a decoration though And then if we carry on going round, we're going to end up down this side at Port Grain Elevator. Which is again another one you can access from both road and train. And then just coming up here actually as we slow down you've got another uh, wood cell point just there and you can see the hazard hatch marks um, span the whole width of the track so I'm guessing you could pull up there with your timber on the back of this and sell it just through there up the ramp by the floodlight you can um go up the ramp and use a sail point and there's a sail point there from the train that track grows off through there but that's obviously a dead end it's not part of the map and then we'll come round grain silo west 
which again is another one that you can access from the road and train just there and the roadside one there's there just behind it now I need to jump out here because our pickups just there what I'm going to do is whiz round and show you the um, areas that you can't access by train so there you can see in front that's the um, road sale point there for that one cut across the grass we've got a fuel station just there for you to fuel up if you so wish and then just up around here we've got the shop um, your reset point and if you buy or um, lease anything is just there on the corner of the yard you've got your shop menu trigger just there and then round the back down the slope we have got a workshop trigger for your repair, customization, etc. Now if we come out of here and go down here just to the left we've got the restaurant which um, you can access from road as you can see and with the railway just there then we'll come out of here across you can have your animal dealer in here and a couple of sale points so just there, these are the sale points that you lose as well. So you've got your manure sale point there. Obviously your animal dealer will still be there. That's your dialogue box there for him. And then you've got the barn over there, which is a sale point. Um, obviously that will disappear as well in the other two modes. So I haven't really shown you any of the sale points yet, have I? So uh, most of them are main sale points, which take pretty much everything, or your standard ones, sorry, like so. And then your barn ones are going to do all your bells or loose silage, grass, hay and straw. We'll come round to the BGA. Your manure pit is just going to take manure. And then you obviously your spinneries are just going to do the cotton and wool. We'll whiz down to the sawmill. Which is down here somewhere. And then we'll jump in the train to go around the southern part of the map. So, I should have turned in there really and cut across the grass. You've got your timber lumber cell point just there. And your wood chips are around the back this way. Just there is your wood chips. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for the train or jump in the train see where it is but I'll probably cut to me coming past this point again so you know where we've left off so we're just coming past where we left off as you can see massive field there on the left and you can see this train is the, it's still a huge long train but it's the shorter one of the two and it hasn't got any um, log or sort of flatbed um, coaches so you've got a sail point here this is the Agra 
you can see you've got underneath the shelter there your roadside one and this is your train point there you can see the hazard boxes that is one that disappears off of the map in the other two modes which is a bit odd not sure why that does but it does and then we're coming up towards the BGA which obviously isn't linked with the railway I think it's quite similar if not the same as the Ravenport BGA I won't jump out and show you but you can see you've got two bunker silos there's your digestate pipe and your digester just beyond that pretty standard that will just take all your standard BGA stuff as well nothing else special and then coming up from there we've got grain mill east which again you can get to from the road should be able to just see the little ramp there you go and there's the train section so the cell points just in the little building there under the arch and then we come back round and we're going to be at central grain elevator which is the one I said that both the trains cross through and again you can get to that from road and train obviously it's just in the background the road one and then we're coming up to our farm and that is pretty much it nice open spaces though all pretty square fields and then this one you can also fill up from your main silo obviously you're not going to be able to use the ramp there but that's mainly for the um, timber or if you're selling some wall pallets or anything like that so that is it that is Lazy Acres Farm by TNT Modding. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, then please do. And don't forget to smash the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.